Hello. So, Teacher LaShondra here, and I'm here to help you do some homework. So many people have came to me asking me, can you help me with like homework tips, the easiest way to assign homework? Do I have to assign homework for every lesson? Yeah, you do. You have to assign homework for every lesson. But here's the thing. When you're doing the assessment, there has to be something in the homework section where you're giving the students something to practice on their own. Now, you don't have to fill in the secondary homework form to have them submit it back to you. You don't have to fill out that homework form if you don't want to give them like official submit it back to me type of homework. Now, if you're a higher teacher and you've been in the portal and you don't understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like the secondary part of the homework where you have to assign, it has to be for a title, you can include an attachment if you want to in the little comment or description of what you want them to do for the homework. You don't have to do that part. You can say no need to assign if that's what you want to do. But as far as the assessment is concerned, yes, you do have to fill out the homework section with something for them to practice. It could be anything. And I'm gonna show you today how simple it could be to assign something and how you can even have them submit it back to you and it's easy peasy and you can enjoy seeing your students work being submitted to you. Okay, so many people have asked about, hey, what's the easy way to give homework? Well, right here, this is an example of a lesson that I did today and so if I wanted to give homework for this student there's a very simple way that I can send that right on along so I'm just gonna go through you can see here we were talking about you know doctor nurse postwoman doing a little activity there then we talked about I love ice cream I like I love, I don't like, but I think right here makes for good homework practice. And so I'm going to send this to my student for them to be able to do as kind of like a worksheet. So here's what I'm going to do. Print screen, you guys. Print screen. So I just saved a screenshot of this right here so then it saves into you know my screenshots folder and then I could attach it as a picture you can attach it I think it's JPEG or PNG ping whatever you want to call it but it attaches as a picture and then the student they can some of them have the ability to pull it up and be able to draw on the screen and then they'll do a screenshot and then submit it to you as a picture that's filled in you see what I mean? So they do it as a worksheet or some parents even print it out, but that's a lot of color. So I know I wouldn't be printing this out for my kid. That's a lot of colored ink. <laughs> but if the parents wanted to print it out, they can print it out as well and have it as reference. And Or if they wanted their child to just copy the sentences so they can write, Bumpy is a... So look, this is Bumpy. Bumpy is this blue one right here, <laughs> you see. Bumpy is a doctor, so they can write the sentence out. Bumpy is a doctor. Tinky is a nurse. Teddy is sick. They can write out the sentences. They can do, you know, some type of a way where they fill it out and submit it. So if you're already a higher teacher, you will notice that there is a section where when the students submit the work to you, you go in, check it, accordingly and you can give them feedback on it. So I just did a screenshot. So that's one of the easiest ways that you can use the lesson itself as homework. So say there's, um, say you were working with a student and you wanted them to practice reading. So I'm gonna go to page, we, we can go here. So we're talking about some reading, matching, you know, you wanted to practice matching. He is a doctor. She is a nurse. Here's some more reading. You can do a screenshot and your homework assignment for that student can be something as simple as reading. If you wanted them to practice reading, 
then you can have them practice reading. Here's a good one. There you go. This one is perfect. So I did this as a song. Thank you, doctor. And I had to repeat. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. You make us, you make us feel well. well. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. That is how, that is how I can help. And so I just, that's how I broke it up. I just had them sing it in the song so we can remember it. So maybe you want them to remember this and you want them to read it and practice reading because this lesson was about saying, thank you, you are welcome. And so have them practice reading that screenshot, send it as homework. You can even, when you screenshot and you just wanted to crop it into a specific part, do that, crop in the photo send that on that's their homework that is the absolute easiest way to use part of the lesson as homework without having to go on google and search for things now i'm going to show you another way okay now i'm going to just show you my whole screen here <laughs> you guys are in my personal business get out get out <laughs> okay so say i wanted to find a worksheet I'm just gonna type, okay, thank you, worksheet. There you go, you can do this. Images for thank you worksheets. Go on here and like, okay, I wanna find a worksheet for thank you. Now, download it as a picture. There'll be like these different images that pop up and download it. You can do that. So here's one, thank you very much. And then say I just wanted to save image as, so I'm gonna save it. Thank you, worksheet. All right, let's say thank you very much so I can find it easier. Thank you very much. And then I'm gonna save it trace and color there. So as you see, if you look in here, I already have some things that I have saved. So thank you very much. And then I can open it. Look, that's what it looks like. The parent can print that out. You can have the student trace, thank you very much. Then they can write it over, thank you very much. And then they can color, thank you. Color the stars, color the words, the, well, the letters. So yeah, that's one way you can do it. So it saves as a picture. You can upload it as a picture. Those are the easiest ways, okay? Now here's another easy way. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We can really make this very, very simple. Okay, now this is the other way. Now I'm only showing you a little tiny snippet of the student assessment, you guys. I don't wanna show just the whole entire assessment. It's somewhat, you know, confidential to the student. This is, you know, this is what's sent to the student and the parents. Plus, I don't wanna put data like all out there on blast <laughs> for like every company to view their layout. So that's just not cool. But I'm gonna show you homework. So this is number, like the fifth little section of our um, student assessment that we have to write. So I don't know about other platforms, but the one company that I used to work for previously, they also had us write assessments after every single class. So data is the same. An assessment has to be written some type of, you know, I think the other company called it parent feedback. They just call it an assessment. So you're just assessing the student's abilities after every class and sending a report to the parents. Now, like I said, you don't have to reinvent the wheel here. So say you just want to give them typing homework. So you can just say, think, oh, oh, jump the gun there, practice writing. And then I say, thank you very much. We will practice this together in class. And you know, you have to write at least 25 words in each section. 
So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now you can elaborate some more. So say you want to ask them. So practice writing. Thank you very much. We will practice this together in class. That's very simple, right? <laughs> Any kid can do that, right? And then you want to add something on there. You can ask them a question. It, it will be fun to draw some cookies and pretend I'm going to skip the lines so you guys can see pretend to eat them and say thank you you are doing a great job in class well I just say you are doing a great job Jenny. This particular student's name is Jenny. And then there you go. You see how simple that was? Like some people were like, oh, why do I have to write 25 words? They just really, I mean, you probably wonder why 25? Really, they just had to throw something out there. It, this is how I'm seeing it. Because if they just said, write a comprehensive report, to the parents everyone's interpretation of that is not the same so they just kind of wanted to make it semi-standard so that the length of it is somewhat to what they expect for a comprehensive report to be so roughly 25 words 25 words or more per section you can see this is more than 25 words but i know that this particular student she's young she's very young she is six so we're going to practice thank you very much and then um and she just turned six so i'm just gonna have her draw cookies she likes to draw pictures for me so i know this about this student when you get to know your students you learn things that they like to do so she likes to draw pictures for me so we would i'm having her draw cookies pretend to eat them and say thank you and this is something that we've been working on as well because when she is saying thank you sometimes she says thank you thank you very much so you hear that tank so i really want her to practice the th blend the th, th. so practicing those um you know phonemes that really helps with pronunciation in class when they're doing that outside of class and there's times i even heard her mom working with her <laughs> and, you know before class her mom really tries to stay on her about pronunciation so having her practice something simple so if you don't want to do a worksheet you don't want to do a screenshot you can do something simple you can even do your own where you're like writing sentences and having them fill in the blank so maybe you said thank You see what I'm doing there? Please fill in the missing words. Or you can, let's even put a sentence before that. We worked on saying thank you and you were welcome. You put that on the next slide so you guys can see it in class. There you go. You see that right there? That was so easy. Easy peasy. That can be a homework assignment. You can, you can type up something and tell them to fill in the blanks. Very easy. So, you guys, don't overthink it with the homework. And I don't know. This could probably go for no matter what online company you're working with for with whatever you want to call it this could probably go for everyone i'm not familiar with the different platforms because i am only a dot dot teacher <laughs> i don't work for you know multiple online platforms so i'm only with data i'm not familiar with it but if you think you can apply this to other platforms then hey wonderful you know this is all about this opportunity for us to be able to you know, get control of our own schedule, make some money, and do something that we like to do. And that's teaching. Or maybe it's not 
the teaching part, but you just love interacting with children and, you know, the ability to be able to talk to students abroad, whatever the case may be. So hopefully this is helpful to somebody out there. I hope that it could help everybody out there. <laughs> and so you guys don't stress, don't stress on Halloween. Oh, 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 oh. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hope those were helpful tips for you in assigning homework. You know, I'm all about don't reinvent the wheel. I like to work smart, not necessarily hard, okay? <laughs> so you know, like, after you do your classes, don't nobody have time to be spending like hours and hours of research and homework. We don't have time for that. Well, at least I don't. I don't. And so I try to do the most simplest way where I'm still having the student practice on certain skills, but at the same time, I'm not using so much of my time. You know what I mean? I'd rather spend that time with my children, you know, my free time doing, you know, my book writing. I don't want to have to spend like an hour or two hours or so filling out homework. So I'm hoping this helped for you. And as always, TTF <laughs> in. <laughs> yes. Ta-ta for now.